So maybe you're like me and love bugs. Or maybe you're nothing like me and hate bugs. Or maybe you're somewhere in the middle and have a healthy respect for the ones that can do damage to you, but otherwise pay no mind to them. Or maybe you've never really noticed they existed. But why do I like bugs? Why do I like bugs enough to make it my career and spend time making YouTube videos about them? Is it because of their diversity? Insects make up 58% of all life on the planet and beetles alone make up one-fifth of the biodiversity on Earth. Is it because of their beauty? Even some of the smallest leafhoppers have incredible beauty and there are plenty of people who love taking pictures of insects. Is it because of the insects' rich history, both in evolutionary terms and their associated place with people? Maybe I want to study them because we're constantly using insects to improve and invent technology and new medical procedures. Or maybe it's just because they're cool. But probably it's all of these things. What do I want to do with this love of bugs? Well, I want to share it. I want to share information about how wonderfully beautiful, diverse, and useful insects are. And more importantly, I want to get insects and these concepts into the classroom. It's interesting to me that in most biology classes, at least at the college level, insects are never really mentioned. How can you have a class that's specifically devoted to the concept of life and you leave out 58% of that life? But my dreams don't stop there. I want to bring insects into all classrooms. Why not teach a comparative anatomy class comparing invertebrates and vertebrates? Or for that matter, why not teach a comparative physiology course using invertebrates and vertebrates? Why not teach flight mechanics using airplanes, birds, and dragonflies? Why not teach the principles of light scattering using prisms and butterfly wings? And why not teach the concepts of chemistry with both typical chemical reactions and how fireflies glow? I'm going to try and start this by making these short videos called Bug Bits, and I'm going to try and keep each episode under 5 minutes. The idea is that I'll break apart the larger lectures that I've done into these smaller episodes called Bug Bits. And an example of this would be I have an insect physiology lecture and a Bug Bits episode, for example, would be insect rep respiration. Hopefully, Bug Bits will be more visually appealing. In addition to being shorter, more people will want to stop by and watch them. And hopefully, people somewhere will stumble upon them, find them valuable, and maybe, just maybe, they'll end up in classrooms around the world.